Hello everyone and welcome to this first tutorial video here on the Cycling Day in Extra. This is of course the channel where we look behind the scenes of our main channel, the Cycling Dane. Today we are going to look at how to add a timer to your clip on Final Cut Pro. So basically here what I've got is a stage of last year's Giro d'Italia and I really wanted a gap between, well a time gap between Simon Yates and Fernando Gaviria, the two riders, but I don't want to spend money on a plugin. So what do I do? Can I actually use the tools at my disposal to kind of generate some kind of time gap? So anyways, we are here in Final Cut Pro here, as you can see, here's the, um, like, here's the clip. And as you can see, Gaviria goes through first. And then moments later, we get Simon Yates coming through. So that's kind of the gap that I want to measure. Like I want to get a time between those two just to see how much time Simon Yates actually um, caught up to Fernando Gaviria. So what I'm going to do, there's various ways of doing it, but I want to try and get the time where they are just about in line with the guy on the right hand side of the picture in that white coat. And that looks like Gaviria is there. But uh, before I mention that, I'll just say the tools that we have at our disposal. That is, of course, if you go into the generators and type in time, you can get the time code. But the problem with time, well, the time code, if I place it here, the start here where, where Gaviria comes, and then we're looking for Simon Yates, where Simon Yates comes to the white guy, well, the guy in the white jersey, uh, the white coat, is about here. So that's about the gap that we want. So if I just zoom in there just to get exactly where it is, it's about here. So I'll just extend it out there. But the problem here with the time code is that it's it's not starting from where I put it. So you can see that it is there at eight seconds already. Eight seconds is of course from the start of the clip, not the start of the section that I put it on. So that's a bit annoying in terms of Final Cut Pro. So anyways, um, what I want, of course, is uh, time from there to there. And then what I can do, well, the way I do it is I'll cut between the two places that I want. So I want there and there. So now you've got the time code in that particular area. And then if you highlight both of them and then right click, you can go here to new compound clip. So if you do that new compound clip, uh, but if you want before before we do that as well, we can adjust the, um, we can put it a bit higher up if you want. You can change the colors. We can change it here to time gap. Um, you can change the, the size of it as well. Uh, make it a bit more appealing uh, to your specific usage for it. Change the size. If we make the size a bit bigger, put it there. Change the color. Let's make it red. And um, maybe we should also change the font of it as well, uh, just to make it a bit more um, appealing. And there you can see you have a plethora of um, you have a plethora of fonts to choose between. I'm going to go for impact. It doesn't look that stylish. It looked more stylish in my mind, but anyways. So you've changed that a bit here, but we still have that problem of it's not recording the clip that you want. So basically, as we said before, highlight the two of them. Then we go into new compound clip. You make the compound clip, I'll call it time gap. Time gap with a, and there we go. And now you can see it's changed. So now when we look at the clip again, we can see that Gaviria is coming up the road here. Um, and there you go, there's our time gap. And it's exactly from where he started. And it should hopefully finish where Simon Yates comes up to the finish where the guy was and there you can see it it was exactly 10 seconds that's it for this video thank you very much for watching i really hope that that helped you out and if it did why not like the video and subscribe to this channel as well thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time